right, good Saturday everybody. We are here on a very hot Saturday. Gonna do some park hopping today. We're going to Magic Kingdom right now on a quest for the world famous cheeseburger egg roll because I've never had one, she's never had one. They're apparently really good. So we're gonna do that and then maybe Epcot. And then uh, who knows, but we're gonna take the boat. Hardly anybody here, so let's get to it. Feels like we're being honorary, uh, I don't know, guests on the boat. How are you today? Great. <laughs> yeah. Dude, get out, I have to put it come on, get a hat, get like earrings on, a shirt, a backpack, a little tent. He's like, you must eat steak. Yeah. I got the giant plush on my back. Perfect. Thank you. That dog was adorable. Oh my god. The breeze feels kind of nice right now. It doesn't feel like Satan's asshole anymore. For now. So we came here on uh, July 3rd for the 4th of July like fireworks show and stuff. We came on the 3rd and we tried to film it. But it was just, oh my god, the crowds that night <laughs> were so bad. And then that same night we were trying to get um, the cheeseburger egg rolls then. But apparently they don't go by the one hour rule that night if you don't know what the one hour rule it's basically all the everything is down like restaurants quick service is down an hour before the park closes so it's closed and we were kind of sad so that's why we're doing this a redemption video and it's open so let's do it so two orders of the cheeseburger egg rolls have been acquired 19 dollars for two of them so a little pricey, but I've heard it is worth it if you've never had them before. So, why not, right? Oh, look. Club 33. Wish, I wish. There really is nowhere to sit in the shade of Disney. You just kind of have to accept hell. Ooh. It is like Big Mac sauce. Apparently, it tastes like Big Mac sauce. I don't want to spill it. Yeah. Apparently it's good. So if you're looking for the cheeseburger egg rolls, if you never had them before, they are on the bridge to Adventureland. And there's ducks. We saw a hummingbird too. It was really cute. But yeah, it's right here on the bridge to Adventureland. This little cart right there. That's good. Nine fifty. Get two comes out to nineteen bucks. Something like that. Then we're suddenly get real food though. But that was good. I recommend it if you've never had it before. And while you're at it, uh, get the bacon on the stick in Frontierland because that's I think that's a lot better than cheeseburger egg rolls. But it was good. All right, let's uh, figure out what we're doing now. We feel so bad for the guy in the costume for Lewis. It's got to be hot as balls in there. <laughs> Just imagining all the sweat and the duck butter building up in there, my God. So even though we just had uh, two egg rolls each, I've been thinking about going to this place called the Liberty Tree Tavern for a while now. We both have, we've been looking at it online. It's cheaper than some of the other ones. Like we love going to the Garden Grill at Epcot. It's like 62, 64 a person, something like that, I think. Uh, this one's apparently 42. So, hey, cool, it's less. I think the only thing is you don't get the meat characters in there, which eh, I don't really care. <laughs> I know you're probably sad, but I don't know what characters you would meet in the Liberty Tree Tavern. Like, Patriotic. here's old uh, John Adams, I don't know, John Hancock, Benjamin Franklin, uh, Yankee Doodle. I don't know who you would, I don't know who you would meet in there. Meet the founding fathers. They come around to your table. Uh, all right, so yeah, I think that's where we're gonna we're gonna go there and check that out. All right, the Liberty Tree Tavern, seating available. It's basically right across from the old uh, steamboat. Join our revolution, all you care to enjoy. How are we gonna do this? All right, let's go blow some money on AC and refills. 
All right, it's gonna be about a 10 minute wait, which of course means probably immediately, but we're in here. The AC is already pretty awesome. I have never eaten here before, nor have I stepped inside. Even all the years I worked here, came as a guest, never been in. I passed it obviously many times, but never been. Got the Cracker Barrel vibes going on in here. Gave our info and now we wait. Ugh. Ugh. You ready to eat all the food and then feel absolutely miserable? Yes. We're gonna be very grumpy and complain about a lot of stuff after this because it's hot. We're gonna be really full. So just, just warning you that everything's going downhill from here. Yeah, so like I said, extremely fast. That was probably a three minute wait. So we're here at the table. We're sat at a table with a painting of, I don't know, some guy with a musket. We got our drink order taken here. I gotta get used to this camera, not looking at the LCD screen, but looking at you, the viewer. Uh, yes, yeah, so they sell alcohol here. Walt Disney would be rolling in his grave if he knew that the Magic Kingdom was selling alcohol. But they also sell alcohol at the dinner party for the fireworks too, so. And at the Be Our Guest restaurant, so I guess it's just comes with the times. But they got Sam Adams, because it's American, I guess. And yeah, so. They don't have sweet tea, we learned that. Well, they only have unsweet tea. I thought this was the Liberty Tree Tavern of America, but I guess it's America and the, the Yankee North where they only have unsweetened iced tea, but that's fine. One of the things I wish Disney would change is the paper straws. I get you want to save the environment, but so does Joffrey's. And Joffrey's, it's, it's what, an agave straw? Agave. Something. But it's biodegradable and it actually does not get soggy on you and, you and you can actually enjoy your drink for at least a couple hours before. But the paper ones, they just start to melt and fall apart in your drink within like half an hour and I'm over it. Disney, you have a contract with Joffrey's already. Just fill out another piece of paper that says, hey, can we have your straws throughout the park as well? That'd be awesome. So we've been to the Garden Grill at Epcot, and I guess it's pretty similar. You know, salad, bread, main course, dessert kind of thing. So here, I already forgot what kind of salad it is. It looks really good. But instead of cornbread, like the Garden Grill, they basically give you a... Uh... All right, it's official. We are going to die today. <coughs> I can foresee it now. After this, it's gonna be a miserable, miserable day in the park. What have we done? Regretting life right now. You wanna know why? I'll show you. I can see it if you're a family of four or five, but you're just two people. We can do it. Mother of God. All right. We tried so hard, guys. So hard. <laughs> Feel like death. We haven't even had the dessert yet. Um, so. We've got all this left. Have an entire meal for two still left. The meal for three or even four still left. I don't know how anyone can really eat this. If you come here, just, you know, two people come here. I mean, if you haven't eaten in two days, maybe you could do it, but. We're in pain right now, and we still have a vanilla toffee cake to come out, and we still have an entire day at the parks. Godspeed. All right, it has arrived. Our final um, obstacle course here. I mean, like, yeah, it's huge, <laughs> ridiculous. All right, I'll try to get we gotta do this to and then we'll go outside and slow a miserable death in the heat. It's not too sweet, it's really light. 
I like it. I'm gonna regret it. Misery. That's so worth it. We'll definitely come back here <coughs> again. And I highly recommend it to uh, everybody watching. <laughs> it's very good. But you will feel <sighs> like complete shit. If you come here for lunch, oh my god, it's just what I thought. We're gonna hate we're gonna hate the rest of the day here because it literally literally feels like I'm about to just puke everything up. And I didn't even eat that much, as you saw. I feel miserable. But uh it's for two people, it's cheaper than some of the other ones at Disney. 80 bucks to be in a massive food coma with AC and refills. I don't know, you do the math yourself, but we thought it was worth it. So yeah, let's uh, get this filled out and uh, go find something to do today. So we're walking to Tomorrowland now. Waddling. Somebody Waddling. obviously wants to see Stitch. I wonder why. And then uh, my... Minutes might do the people mover but my god the walker over here from liberty tree tavern miserable but it was worth it though Yeah, I told him aloha and that he can be a part of my ohana. I got in a photo too. We'll see if we can get it later today and I'll put it in the video. If I'm not, so if not, it'll show up at some point. I guess after waiting in that long line and just kind of digesting, don't feel too miserable. Yeah. So the Liberty, the Liberty Tree Tavern, it might be the place to go because you feel like total shit at first. But about half an hour later, you're like, eh, it was worth it. So we'll probably go there again. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go in the People Mover now. You know, it's hot. We just have to last until we go into Space Mountain in the dark tunnel. It's back up and running now, so it's perfect. Let's go move some people, as they say. All right, best ride ever. It is hot today, Jesus Christ. I think it's an index warning too today. Like close to 110 heat index with humidity. It's a good thing I lived here my whole life and I work outside for a living. I'm used to it, but god damn it sucks. Enjoy your journey. I want to nap. Alright, here we go. Moved all the hedges out of the way. I didn't know there was a stage there. There were so many hedges on wheels in the way. I didn't know what was behind it. <laughs> Retreat in the galaxy, the coral blooms of Pisces 7. You H2O it to yourself. You H2O it to yourself. <laughs> Let me guess, tomorrow they're paging you for your flight to the moon. <laughs> the puns. Checking out the pins. I think I'm gonna go with this one here. It's a Fantasia. I think that's the one I'm gonna go with. Looks pretty cool. Can you get Snow White? Yeah, either Snow White or the Walt Disney World one. Crazy how it feels better outside than it does inside Star Traders. You need to fix your AC. My God. If you work there, you're a stronger person than I am. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got Snow White. Snow White and Fantasia. All right, we're gonna, I guess, maybe go to Epcot now. Of course, we didn't charge our magic band, so today there will be no interaction with the Stitch statue. No interaction today. We didn't charge the battery. That means we get to move on and not get distracted, so. <laughs> We're gonna go on the second best ride ever, yeah. Spaceship Earth. All right. Best ride. 
night ever. Let's be Chinese today. Oh. Father, I'm indecent. Nobody at the park today. Old Walt statue is lonely. No one's up there. Here in the main hub of Epcot. Nobody. This is awesome, hell yeah. And then the new uh, college cafeteria they made here. There's no one in there watching the band. One random person that's trying to dance, but other than that, it's like no one in there. It's a little awkward. And I agree with a lot of other uh, YouTubers that have been here. This is our first time seeing it, but man, it sucks. What was here before was way better. So while we're over here, let's go check out this awesome college cafeteria that we've heard so much about. Wow, this sucks. What a waste of money. Just had to see it with my own eyes and uh, definitely disappointed. All right, we've made it to Germany. This is Fjodor's favorite place. I got a uh, Watersteiner. I'm in uh, the old people's favorite store where it's nothing but Werther's Originals. I wonder how old people act when they come in here. They probably just fucking cream their pants. But yeah, we're just walking around, getting drinks, slowly making our way to Japan. I got myself a Bud Light. She's probably gonna get us an Icy because we're at the, the place that has them. Oh, really? Yeah, really. This is uh, the place that has it. So we went upstairs to, um, to a grill. We've actually never gotten food here. We pass by it all the time and stuff but they have the beef Wagyu buns. So, you know we had to stop and get them. Yeah. Hell yeah. There's like no one at Epcot today. I mean, seriously, look at this. Like... When have you ever seen the pearl area empty <laughs> like I've never once seen that I don't think in my whole life so there's nobody here <laughs> it's awesome so we are in France I decided to stop over here I haven't had a crepe in a long time so we stopped over here in France we got the uh, hazelnut chocolate one oh yeah what do you think it's light and delicious. That's right. Through the craziness over here, people that stop in the middle of the walkway for no reason at all. Tony, I hear the scum of the earth. Anyway, we are at the Land Pavilion. Right. Five minutes means walk on. Here we go. <laughs> Heading out, we got a couple and a domestic dispute. I love it, it's so funny. Just break up already. All right, so we're heading out to Epcot, it was fun. Got some snacks, got food. Gotta go back to the Ticket Transportation Center and uh, call it a night. So if you watched the whole video, thank you as always. And we're gonna go take a nice cold shower. Have a nice night, thank you.